And we start with breaking news in this region just in. The Hamas military wing has just released video footage that is likely to spark waves. It is video of Avera Mengistu. He looks like he is alive and he is speaking to a camera to give us all the details and break down what we know. With me in studio, Middle East correspondent Ariel Osaran. This is a huge development. Tell us more. Right, Benita, this is really from the past few minutes, Hamas's military wing, the Ezzedin al Qassam brigades, um, publishing a video. They, they gave a promo to it earlier today saying that they would uh, publicize new information regarding one of the four Israelis that has been held by uh, by Hamas in Gaza since 2014 and indeed this is a video confirmation if if the the authenticity of this is confirmed it would indeed be the first proof of life uh, of Avera Mangisto who the 36 year old who crossed the border into Gaza uh, back in 2014, he is known to have uh, a history of, of, of mental illness, and so this is seen regardless of just the the, the blatant cynical attempt by Hamas to uh, to activate some uh, psychological warfare in the Israeli public, as they did back in July, showing video of the other Israeli Hisham Said connected to oxygen tanks, given his deteriorating health situation. But this. Uh, is is, is indeed a, a cynical use of uh, an Israeli who is uh, clearly not in uh, f full capacity and using this to try and play on the heartstrings of the Israeli public. This is something that Hamas has done before, and a few months after they did it previously, they appear to be doing it again today on the entrance of uh, Herzia Levy as Israel's new chief of staff. Well, before we get to exactly that, the timing of this, you raise a very important point, and that is the authenticity of this information. We need to reiterate this is all developing right now as we speak. Talk us through the process of verifying that this is accurate and also, obviously, the time frames when this video may, in fact, have been recorded. So that's exactly what Israeli security agencies, I would imagine, are are carrying out right now these examinations um, also approaching the family trying to see if they recognize the voice because there was a, a, a just over a year ago, Hamas released an audio recording claiming to be the voice of Avera Mangisto. The voice indeed actually sounded a little bit similar to the voice in the video that they published, but the family said it was not, uh, did not belong to Avera Mangisto. And so these are the examinations that are going to uh, take place now, where this was filmed, if it could be ascertained. Um, when and indeed if it is also the image of Avera, but also his voice, because today we know that there is a wide array of technology from deep fakes, AIs that can be used um, in situations like this. So that is exactly what Israeli security agencies are going to be looking into to try and determine whether this, this is an authentic video. And of course, that determination will then have implications as to how Israel can move forward from now. But again, if indeed this does appear to be an authentic video, it would be the first visual proof of life of a Mangisto since crossing the border into Gaza in 2014. And as you say, it's all part of the psychological warfare that exists in this region right now. Talk to us, you alluded to it already, about the timing, because there is a new IDF chief of staff operating in Israel at the IDF as of this day. Talk to us about what yeah, this means. Yeah, and the video opened with a, with a screen, with a message to Herzi Alevi that, uh, to make sure not to make this another one of his future failures. And this is something that Hamas is clearly showing everyone that this is the main issue that they're trying to push forward now, trying to raise awareness to this issue using a video confirmation, such a big tool that they haven't used until now would show, would indicate that they perhaps believe that there are, that there is a chance for a breakthrough, something that hasn't happened uh, in the years of negotiations that have been going on between um, the head of POWs and the um, Israel's national security uh, department and also uh, with Hamas. Um, and this is something that they are trying to, to push forward 
using public uh, momentum. We will have to see, um, given the new military leadership, how they will move forward. Ariel Osaran updating us on this breaking news. And of course, he'll have all the latest verifications and details as they emerge. Middle East correspondent Ariel Osaran, thank you as always.